My word, I'm a giddy chap this morning. For the first time this year, Bolton Car Boot Cell is back on. Now, historically, this boot cell has been the most consistent one I think I've ever been to. Only once in the entire time that I've been there have I come away with nothing at all. Usually, it's a pretty reasonable haul as well. I'm saying all this, knowing full well I've completely bloody jinx just jinxed it. <laughs> Really keen to get over there, so let's get some cash, let's get some coffee, and let's get on the road. I do kind of feel like an advert when it comes to uh, Bolton Boot Cell. Bolton, famous for being called Bolton, and probably many other things as well. It's absolutely rammed this morning. That queue to get in was absolutely massive and uh, it seems to be mostly sellers as well. The car park's really quite empty. Result! You top box off. I don't know, uh, ten of them, mate. Yeah. We've got a couple of them. Keys should be inside it. Yeah. Oh, brackets are inside it. Yeah. Is, is the brackets maybe other one as well? I don't know where it is at the moment. All right, yeah, no worries. <laughs> what are you after? Are the other one of them? I've, no, I've only got one left. All right. Okay. All right, okay, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> I thought we had two, but we did have two. We did. Got one. Would you go seven on it? Eight. Yeah, go on. It's a bargain eight, but yeah. I chose right person to speak to anyway, didn't I? <laughs> uh, Cheers, buddy, thank you. Then, the trolley's not full yet, get over here. <laughs> I'm working on it. That on your barber. Yeah, it's 20 on the barber and 7 on the shirt. Yeah. What have you got on your vans? Three quid. Three quid. Yeah, yeah. Three quid. Um, yeah, it's just not getting them out yet. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> One second. <laughs> First day back here is always busy, isn't it? It is. Just a couple of 10p's there, then. Um, two quid. Yep, yeah. no worries. I think we've got right money as well. I could normally struggle if we change this time of morning, haven't we? <laughs> Cheers, buddy, thank you. Well. How much is the coat? I'm not pinch your anger. <laughs> Cheers, buddy, thank you. Yeah. How much have you got in your tonka? Tonka point for either, mate. Hey! What's going on in your UV box? I want 20 on it, mate. It records everything. Yeah. It's got. About 700 films recorded in it. All oh, right, okay. You can delete. Are they any I like, though? Uh, <laughs> might be. <laughs> oh, Harry Potter's are in it. I know I like the films. That's a very attractive van. Thank you very much, Dave. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? How you doing, gorgeous? Yeah, Let's see it. Dream. What's to... going on there, man? I'm trying to balance it. Why are you selling that? Um, I can't get the, the bottom off. Oh, okay. I've used it for cosplay, I know it worked, but uh, when I used to do my cosplay and Comic Cons events, but I, can't, I don't know if I've over threaded it or whatever. You know what WD 4 yet? Maybe, but I ain't got the grip to get the bottom off. Oh, like. mate, that's yeah, awesome. They're, they're like 200 quid. You can get, you can, it's a force effects uh, thing. You, you can get 200 quid. 
is now it's odd you in it, I just can't get the bottom off. So therefore yeah. I can't sell it really because I ain't got the skills to get that off and I don't want to break it. See this is gonna be the uh, King Arthur and um Yeah. Whoever can get that is, is he, he, I looked at soul comps, so 150 to 200 all day. Yeah. It's a Darth Vader, Force FX, with a box and the stand, but I can't get it off, so I can't justify like having it if I'm just gonna have it in the corner just to look pretty. So basically whoever gets that off is the new king of England or something. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. yeah. I think I think <laughs> I, I think they deserve knight the knighthood in. That's yeah. that's that's literally Or oh, Emperor as the case may be. After you've done a couple of laps later on today, yeah. I might just need a Tom tip break. Yeah, yeah, no worries, <laughs> Right, I'll see you in a bit. I might bring you a brew. Like uh, there's some no, no, I can do brews. Have I'll you? Buy, oh belting. What have you got on your Furbies? Sorry. What have you got on these? Three pounds. Do you do both for a fiver? Sorry? Would you do both for a fiver? Yeah. Ashton, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Morning. <laughs> How much is your fireside set, love? Sorry. How much is the fireside set? Five. <laughs> do a fiver. Just so happen to have a fiver in my hand as well. <laughs> That's belting that, thank you very much. That's great that, cheers. How much is it? Say again, sorry? 20 quid, bud. 20 quid. I'll uh, charge a wall mount. It doesn't need charging, but it does work. Yeah. DC62, that's what I'm looking for. Did you go 15 on it? Uh, yeah, I'll take 15 on it, yeah. So. Cheers, bro. So. Thanks so much, mate. Have a good one. I've seen you on YouTube before they come out. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice right, one. Yeah. Cheers, man. Big whacking into no. No, no, I, I wasn't going to miss the first day of the season. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it was always yeah. going to be busy, wasn't it? Where do you live? Just Chorley. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, nice. Have a good one, Paul. Ooh. Lightning reactions. <laughs> it's in the look on your face then. It's <laughs> a karaoke machine that. What a proper one that doesn't the telly and got all your music. Two mics. Is it all yeah, does it all together, yeah. yeah. How much have you got on it? I've twenty five on it. Them on the, them on their own. Yeah. There's another set of Oh, remote control, so. looking for. Where do you go, 20 on it? I've wanted 30, but I've put it down. 25. I'll be kicking you know myself. You know it's a bargain. Yeah, yeah. I'll be kicking myself if I didn't take it. Go on, we'll do 25. I need a trip to the car already. <laughs> it's a nice problem to have, isn't it? Thank you. Five. That's probably enough. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. About him. The Woody. The Woody? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's like really old. Double yeah, bubble, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much have we got in your cookie monsters? Um, five pounds for the big ones. Hey, it's it's a bit the small ones as well. Oh, hey, you're getting a family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got, I have got Elmo in here. The breeding. Oh, that's him. Um... Oh, mate. Puppets, puppet, yeah. <laughs> he, he's obviously went through a stage of being obsessed with Sesame Street. Would you do eight for the pair? Ten for the pair. Yeah, go on. It's because I got giddy about it for talking, isn't it? You weren't going to meet me halfway. <laughs> don't actually don't get that. That's it, sometimes. absolutely, don't yeah. Now, fair play to you. What day are you now? Ten. Ten, yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, ten here. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. That's it, you're right. There, and then the five. That's great, that. Cheers. Perfect, thank you very much. Have a super day. You too. Can you have a look at that jacket, please? Yeah, I'll look... get it. Oh, sorry, thank you. How much have you got on it? I had 15, what if you wanted it to take it away, you for 10. I'm 
large. Can you do eight? Sorry? Eight? Yeah, got Thank you very much. Oh, we've got change. Yeah, three there. Yep, perfect, right. thank you. Have a good day. Kids joggers in. No, this is a good sign. When I turned up, two car parks were mostly full. I'm only halfway through the setup and I'm already going back to the car with a full trolley. And I've just noticed on the way back to the car, they're filling the third car park up with sellers. I mean, we're talking as busy as the height of summer can be busy. This is a score and a half. I remember you're about 80 quid, don't you? This is a dear one. This is about 130, but you can pick them up for about 70 quid. Because they fold up, don't they? Yeah, yeah. It's lot. brilliant. I've filled this already. I've been back to car with it. So I'll be, I'll be bleeding out. I want to go take a shot and see walk around a fucking shop. <laughs> Good luck with that, mate. <laughs> what have you got in your Manhattan box? That. I'll let you have that for six quid. It's never been used. You can open it and have a look at it, yeah? If you know what you're doing, yeah? It's like that. It's just the one, isn't it? It's all there. Everything's there. Remote, everything. Take six for it. And how about your accordion? I wanted 50 for it, but you can come up with an offer it. I've been told it's an old in that, right old. You can see, they even told me not to take the label. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? And it, it's perfect, yeah? yeah? You can have a look at it. Yeah, no dramas, man. Well. I'll take for it 30, yeah? That's the last I'm taking of it. Because I don't intend fucking. I'll do a fibre on that. Go on in. Yeah, nice one. On it, yeah. yeah. Let's have a look at your accordion. Go on, have a look at it. Hey, look, there's books there with it and all. Russian. <laughs> Run through the sides. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Summer 24 and summer 25. There we go, mate. There's five of there. Right, so Thank you very much, sir. David. How are you doing, sir? You all right? I've uh, mired you a few times on. Uh, <laughs> What's your name, sorry? Lewis. Lewis. Oh, Instagram. of course, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wonder if I bump into you today. Yeah, how good a result here, this is. You're joking, man. First time I'm here, but I'm a bit overwhelmed. Like, Blimey I don't know if, if something's a bargain and then to just leave it and see what else is about, but then you worry about missing it. And This so. is the thing. I, I, if you set a budget and then yeah. just run with that, I mean, I only yeah. brought two, so I'm regretting it now. I only bought a couple hundred quid me today. Right. Uh, and I've passed up a load of trainers on the end because I knew there was margin in them. But I know there's going to be something else in so, so the guy with all the trainers, mm. I was a bit like, is it legit, is it not? Because yeah. there's so many. Why has he got so many? Where's, you know, so. Yeah, just don't be afraid of checking comps when you're studying for yeah. other people. That's a yeah. thing. And just, I suppose, you work to your budget and be yeah. happy with what you got. Yeah. There's going to be loads that you miss, but yeah, everybody yeah. does. Yeah, cool. You cool. just go at it again the following weekend, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, thanks <laughs> to the... Uh, Actually, you used like I think yours was the first sort of bunch of videos that I like, watched yeah. before I got into this. Because yeah. I originally watched a guy called Gary Vaynerchuk in America, yeah, love and Gary. he does um, boot, uh, garage sales. We don't have yeah. them. Yeah, so yeah. I like, watched the equivalent, and yours was like the first yeah. ones. That came it's out. the so, same mentality. Yeah, yeah. I'm a massive Gary V uh, fan, absolutely massive. But it's exactly the same mentality. So um, yeah, it's just the hustle. Yeah, well, just yeah, get thanks, it. Uh, Good to meet you anyway, Lewis. All the best. How much have you got in your life jackets? Five quid each, various sizes. Would you do three pound a piece if you took all of them? How many have I got? I didn't check. Uh, uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. I'll do all ten for forty. Let's see what how much is left of the budget. I need some bungee, you know what I said, bungees, do you? No. <laughs> See ya, man. Oh, bro. Thank, Thank you very you. much, cheers. Uh, I could just have to pack it better. I'm thinking, 
stood up. Yeah, roll them up like that, like little sausages. Perfect, look at that, bloody teamwork. Yeah, there we go. Spot on, mate, cheers. No worries. Have a good day. Happy New Year! Hey, how are you? You right? <laughs> good to see you, brother. You yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, good, thank you. Absolutely yeah. smashing it today, mate. Second time I've filled trolley. Have you? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Cannot complain at all today. Yeah. yeah, it's a big one today, isn't it? How's winter treated you? Shy. It's always slow, especially kills cash you, flow, doesn't it? Especially when you have a water leak at home and now it's like, oh. Yeah, oh, are you yeah. joking? Yeah. My word. What's with them anyway? You're not supporting all these guys that are coming through the channel, are you? <laughs> Do you know what? I never thought of that. What's a winner? <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. I, I like I like your um, yeah. entrepreneurial you gotta, you brain. Gotta think, you got to think. I know it's... <laughs> How many of those accus have you got left? I've only got them. Oh, have you got them? I've got 70. 60. Come just less than 200 sheets, aren't they? Yeah. He's doing his research, yeah. Has to, has to be done, mate. Has, has to, to be, be done. done. Up here for thinking, down there for dancing. <laughs> <laughs> if I was buying for me, that would be an absolute bargain. What is? Them. What are about? How, how much are they going for? 100 quid. Yeah, I know. I'm just greedy, man. <laughs> no, honestly, I can't. It's killed my budget as well. I, because it's it, because it's so busy with sellers today. Yeah. I, I'm I, I've walked away from stuff I would normally pick up. Oh, really? So I'm just going for stuff with as, as maximum margin as I can. Fifty so, Tekken, Jesus. I, honestly, I can't. If I tell you what, I'm, I'm going to do at least another lap. If they're still here and I've still got the money left at the end, I'll have them. I don't get any. Big punters unless it's you. <laughs> I'll see, yeah. I'm surprised you haven't picked up that extra trade because you've made you famous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to visit that site again. I'll see, yeah, you have to be done, mate. <laughs> Happy New Year and all that. Yeah, <laughs> Is it right, too yeah, late yeah. now? No, no, not at all, not at all. Wow, you've been busy already. It's the second time I filled it. It's been really um, quite good. Yeah, yeah. it's fucking it I took was, us longer to get in than oh, it got it yeah. to get here. It was like 40 minutes to get in. Do you know, I, I was there a little bit a little while later than I'd, I'd like to have been. Yeah. And I joined the end of a really long queue. I'm going, oh, yeah. like, really disheartened. And then I got to the front of the car park. Car park's nearly empty. I'm going, here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, 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 I think it's the first one of the season. Um, uh, we can't grumble at all, man. Yeah, I'll bet. It's been really good, so I can't, can't grumble. Yeah. Oh, it's outside your shop um, about six weeks ago or something like that. Oh, the high street, yeah. Yeah. Been, it, there's some decent traffic stops there as well. I, I, went to, I went to watch a gig in a pub that's about 100 metres up the road, and I oh, thought, right. I don't recognise that shop. <laughs> <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Yeah, <laughs> Have a successful day. Yeah. How much is the Morant Sam? Would you go tell on it? And is it working? <laughs> I have no idea. Out clearance. Ah, okay. Would you go 10? Yeah. Sound. Thank you very much. It's Jenga, this, isn't it? Is that not thought? No, nah, very good. Oh, does Judgmental Duck need a twin? No, I can have two Judgmental Ducks. <laughs> How much is your back? 30. 30. Can yeah. I have a look? Right. Yeah. Thank you. You've got the charge you, so yeah. yeah. This is a little bit too big. I don't know. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? Yes or no? Are you sure? Yeah. You want them? Yeah. Take it off and then we'll get them on each other. Would you go 20 on it? Or meet me halfway? Nope. <laughs> Definitely not. I've got a steamy neck, aren't I? Gotta try, gotta try. <laughs> it's the game. <laughs> Is it a dock or just a charger? Just a charger. Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> I admire a woman who'll stick to her guns. <laughs> That's belting that, thank, thank you very you. much. Have a super day, ladies. Thank you. 
Have you got those? Sorry? Ten. Ten. Are these the only pair you've got? I have two pairs. Two pairs? Yeah. The last two. Sold them very well with 15. Just because of the last two and it's yeah, the same number, yeah. the same size. All right. Two skates or two pairs? Two pairs, okay. same size. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do somebody yeah, with exactly. one, one foot, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Would you buy one only? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. You never know. You, you never, never know. know, yeah, yeah. Would you do both pairs for 15? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it's fine. And they have their own bags. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, that's it. And you just... Brilliant, yeah. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, thank you. Kind of Ladies and gentlemen, come and peruse the finest selection of merchandise in the northwest of England, all professionally presented by my good friend James here. YouTube sensation and all round good egg. That's, that's you, that's you, uh, yeah, that, yeah. I, I'm the YouTube sensation. I'm... Everything is half price while James is nipped to the toilet. Come and get it while the game's good, he'll be back in two minutes. Um, these, I think said three quid each. Sure, that's the Holy Grail. <laughs> 20 quid. 20 quid will do for me. And a bag. All the best to you, buddy. Cheers. Can have a look at your boots, please? I can't quite rage. It's I'll right. just end up falling. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just fall I on your gear. I keep falling over. <laughs> Don't worry. Glitz. How much have you got on him? Jill, how much on the boot? 120. Oh, they're not. Maybe an offer. Oh, I've never been warm, I've never Yeah, I'll, I'll be miles away. Yeah, thank you anyway, though. Oh my giggity, giggity goodness. Bottom boot sale, you sexy, sexy sausage. I thought it might be busy today, but I was really surprised. Three trolley loads, three trolley loads. I've still got a bit of cash left as well. Can't believe it. It's absolutely heaving. I've got some really weird and wonderful stuff today as well. So of course I'm going to take it all home and show you what I got and let you know how much I paid for it and how much it's getting listed for. No nap time today though, because I'm going to play out on the bike. Hello everybody and oh my god I went to a boot sale this morning and oh my god you'll never guess what I got. I got, I got you, oh you should check some of these out. I got a Rubik's Cube, you know like you can, uh, it's like a puzzle thing, uh, like a cube thing. I got uh, a tape measure, it's dead long and everything so you can like measure dead long stuff. And I got a shoe, it's a really nice leather shoe and I'm going to keep this in case I can find another leather shoe to go with it. Oh, what else did I get? Oh my God, everybody. Oh, and I got a neck tube, you know, to keep your neck warm when you're on motorbike. Oh my God, it was so good. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I didn't get that reference. I don't do TikTok. So if any of you didn't get that reference, um, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Did I mention how much I love bought on boot sale? It's amazing. It's, abs oh my God, no, stop up. Shut up, Dave. Shut up, don't, don't do it. Just don't do it. <laughs> Absolutely smashed it out of the park today. Let's get into it, because otherwise we'll be here forever. I'll let you know what I picked up. Oh, it's simply marvellous. Simply marvellous. Let's get into it straight away. First out of the door with a big hitter. This is the Shark Duo Clean. I haven't put the battery on properly. This jumped out at me straight away because I have actually got the exact same Hoover. Different colour though. Comes with a charger. It already had charge in the battery so I could test it. I will test the battery fully before listing it. But it looks like it's been well, well looked after. Lady wasn't for budging. We're asking for 30 quid for it. Fair play. Got to respect that. In fact, I think it might actually be in better condition than mine. I might just swap them out. Anyway, and anyway I know how much... I know how much they're worth, or I had a really good idea, because I think I paid over 300 quid for mine when I got it brand new. Comps are a little bit all over the place, but I'm going to stick it on for a listing value of £130. 
Even if it didn't have charge in the battery though, it was still a safe bet because the motorized head alone, it resells for 30 quid and all the other component parts have value as well. So my money was safe in either instance. Another vacuum cleaner, this is a Dyson DC62. It is cordless, it's got his bracket and charger. I've had it on charge for about half an hour and so far there's no life in it, but I'm really not that fussed if I'm perfectly honest. It's old tech as far as cordless vacuum cleaners go now, but the parts are actually worth more than the working item as a whole. So even if I can get some life out of it, it might just need a new battery, but I'm not gonna start faffing about with it because the breakdown is the motorized head, 30 pound on its own. The wand tube purple thing, they call them wands, extension wand if you like, that'd have a listing value of 10 pound. The little dustbin, that also has a listing value of £10. And the charger and the charger bracket has a listing value of £15. There may even be value in the body of the, of the Dyson, but I probably won't list that spare as a repair. I think it'll just be hanging around forever. So chances are I'll just bin that. Of course, if it's not working, if it is working, that will have value as well. Nice standard pickup. They do need a once over with the suede brush, but these are really nice. Uh, Timberland boots pay £3 for these. I think they'll scrub up pretty well. Listing value on those. 30 pound i've sold a pair of these just recently uh vans skate boots these are the pro classic skate boots pretty decent nick as well certainly don't need much to tart them up a bit paid just two pound for those and they also have a listing value of 30 pound i think the last pair i sold i uh, sent an offer out at 27.50 and somebody bought them at that items i've sold loads of over the years two furby boot Two, <laughs> for my teeth in, two Furby booms, different styles. Obviously, these are the more uh, recent Furbies. I think they're from about 2004 to 2014, that sort of like uh, age. I paid £5 for both of these, and the listing value I'm going to put on them is £15 each. Lovely lady I was talking to there. These quad skates are brand spanking new. They're not anything special really, not uh, branded, but the style of them, the fact that they're, they're really nice black suede, really good looking quad skates. Quad skates are really safe sellers for me. I think I paid £15 for both pairs. Two pairs, obviously they've got their liner bags and the carry bags. They're size seven. I think they're both size seven. Listing value on those, £15 each. Love picking up my free view boxes. This Manhattan, this is, the model is the T1. Brilliant condition, all its bits with it, HDMI cable, remote, etc., etc. Paid £5 for that and a listing value on that, £40. Not so many comps on this coat, to be honest. It's, the brand is Armando, but I really like the look of it. I think it'll sell well. It, it's a wool blend coat, herringbone pattern, double-breasted, but I'm not entirely sure. I think he says size five, which doesn't really make much sense to me at the minute. Um, I'm trying to decide whether it's a men's or a woman's coat. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, I have no idea. I want to say women's, but I might be wrong. So what would you, you say that style is? If I hold it up, you can kind of see the shape of it. So it's quite straight. I would have thought that a woman's coat would have been a bit more tailored, a bit more tapered in the middle, say. But I'm open to suggestions there. Paid just £3 for that coat. And as long as I can figure out the gender, I'm going to put a listing value of £30 on it. Staple pickup for me. But these, this fireside set, this fireside companion set, should I say, is in spectacular condition. Pay five pound for that and a listing value of 35 pound. Now, I won't dig it out, but this Marantz amplifier, model is the PM32, uh, come from a, the guy who was dead honest with me. He said he doesn't know if it works or not. I uh, paid a tenner for it. And uh, initially I thought it was worth a lot more than it is. Amplifiers are normally pretty safe bets. I've rarely got under 30 quid, even for cheap and cheerful ones. And some of the higher end brands like the likes of Marantz can go for exceptionally strong money. At 10 pound, I was prepared to take upon whether uh, it's working or not. So assuming it is working, listing value on that, £70. I'll be honest with you, I did expect it to be over £100 for that amp. Next, first pickup of the day, this top box, motorcycle top box. It doesn't really matter to me too much that it's not branded, 
because a lot of the branded ones are just exactly the same thing with a badge on. I mean, they are what they are, it's just a plastic case. But importantly, if you're looking at these to pick them up to resell, make sure that the fixing plate is with them and the brackets, or at the very least, just the fixing plate, because a top box without a fixing plate is pretty worthless, really. This fixing plate, and like I say, ideally the brackets, mean you can fix it to any back carrier for any bike or scooter. I'll have to check back on the video to for how much I paid for this. I'm gonna say a tenner, but I think that's what the chap's wife wanted, and he gave me a different price, maybe seven or eight quid. Anyway, the listing value on it is 35 pound. Now, the next two listings, I bought them all together. For, from one seller paid £25 for them absolute steal the first I recognise the, the brand on this actually because I've sold some DJ equipment in the past uh, from Cam K-A-M this is a Cam KWM11 dual microphone and receiver reasonably good quality stuff I mean there are better quality uh, gear but sort of like a mid-range quality wise it's, it's good gear so listing value on that complete I'll include all the cables as well £50 and like I say, from the same seller, obviously this was all part of the same set. This uh, Star Singer 1000 karaoke machine, power lead and remote. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bundle it with all the CDGs that I've got as well, all the karaoke discs. There's about 30 discs in here, different genres. Now I hear the time of my life. I that's quite enough of that, Dave. <laughs> Listed value for the karaoke player and CDGs, again, £50. Two Cookie Monsters. I went into a bit of a tiz when I was talking to the rather attractive young lady about these and got carried away and just bought them. Um, she wouldn't budge on £10 for both of them. And they are pretty cool, but they're, they're not, just not worth picking up for me. I really rarely pick up flush, uh, plushes these days anyway, unless they're sort of like really special edition and have got significant value. They're both Cessna... Semis, uh, they're both Cessna... Uh, I can't even say it. They're both Sesame Street branded. Obviously Cookie Monster. This is just your standard plush nice soft feeling squidgy one and the other one much cooler because it's got a puppet thing get my big old hands in the back of him <laughs> oh my god i'm losing the plot anyway i'm still gonna make on them anyway like i say paid 10 pound for both of them uh, listing value on the one that doesn't talk mute cookie monster is 12 quid and the one that talks 18 quid well, I was standing in for James while he nipped to the loo. Um, I did ask him how much he wanted for this box set and he just gave it me because he's an absolute diamond. And I did make him 26 quid, I think it was as well. So I feel mitigated. <laughs> the reason I got this is, well, two reasons really. One, because it's new and sealed. And the other one is I'm building up my stock of new DVD box sets at the minute because I'm trying to get ungated in the DVD brand on Amazon. And I'm just going to get a batch of them together and just send them all in as one job lot. New DVD box sets on Amazon go quite well, really, apparently. This jacket is absolutely stunning. Sadly, not my size. Brand is Ben Sherman. Not exactly the highest end of stuff, but there are some items from Ben Sherman that can fetch strong money. I think this distressed look leather jacket is going to be one of those things. I just think it's really cool. Like, properly cool. Paid £8 for it, I want to say. And I'm going to stick a listing value of £35 on that. I might be being a bit disingenuous used with that price you know because i really think somebody in ebay land will agree with me on how cool this looks lastly a stack of 10 life jackets they, they all appear in good order there's a few with a bit of right size writing on and a bit they look like somebody's been wearing them while they've been eating their dinner kind of thing so there's a couple of them need a scrub aside from that they're all uh, appear complete and in good nick as far as life jackets go when you see them always check the brand and always check the comps because the last one I sold, it was more of an emergency rescue uh, life jacket. I paid very little for it. I want to say 10 or 15 pound. And it went for well over 100 pound. These aren't that. But because of that experience is why I check these. We're not talking staggering value, but I paid 40 pound for all 10. And I'm going to stick a listing value of 20 pound each on them. I'll be perfectly honest though. Um, Probably being a bit ambitious at that. They may well come down to sort of like the 15, 16 pound level, of course, plus postage. So it's 
it's safe money nonetheless. But for the purposes of the video, because I will be starting the listing at £20, I'm going to put a £20 listing value on them. <laughs> Serious GoPro head. So like the thumbnail said, bottom boots are what? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm 51, I'm acting like a teenager. Great day though, absolutely great day. There is gonna be, in fact, I know I walked past a load of stuff that I would normally have picked up. There was even a couple of the traders there that know me of old, that were trying to offer me stuff that they know margin in, that they know that I would normally have bought, but I was just looking for stuff with that bit higher margin. I don't wanna say I was being greedy, but I was trying to force myself into being a bit more picky. It's up to you to decide whether that worked or not. But there's gonna be a bucket load of stuff that you will have seen that I missed on the boot sale today. And I really am trying to add to my grey matter storage bank of information and you guys are really helping with it as well. So if there is anything that you saw with potentially significant margin in, let me know in the comments of this video and I will thank you most profusely. Always nice bumping in the subscribers so if ever you see me out and about in the field always tap me on the shoulder. I'm, I'm quite a nice approachable guy really, at least I like to think I am. Thanks very much indeed for watching this video and thanks very much for your continued support of this channel. It means a lot to me and it really is appreciated. Until next time, lovely people, I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you soon. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, as I said, I went out today on the bikes. That's why I haven't had a nap. It's probably why I'm a little bit delirious and overly giddy. But <laughs> I just, I nipped into a charity shop while I was out because I couldn't resist the draw and I just thought oh, I'm on a motorbike I'm not gonna be able to take anything home if I do find anything but I found this check this out did pay up for it a bit at 30 quid this is a Seiko Oxford crossword machiney thingy job model is the ER3700 and the listing value on that I'm gonna put I'm gonna start it at 70 pound and see where we end up so not that you ever were if you were ever wondering if you could source stock while you're riding a motorbike now you know the answer Bye.